so let's type in um, PyCharm because that's the one I would recommend just type in PyCharm on your Google search and make sure you're using a browser it could be Firefox or Chrome whichever one you like to use now you can see that um, PyCharm has the first result here on JetBrains.com just click on this now it takes you to the PyCharm web page for the downloading of the PyCharm that is the Python ID that is for coding Python now once the page loads up now don't mind my slow internet connection once the page loads up you see a nice black button that says download click on it and it's going to take you to the download button for both the professional and the community version so if you're a developer that would like to get all the full support of PyCharm basically everything that PyCharm has to offer ranging from the modules installation plugins and everything that they have to offer you can pay for the PyCharm professional edition but if you're just working with PyCharm based on development of actual Python programs and a few other things like um, HTML support and some few other things, you can just go for the community edition. So once this page loads up, I'm going to show you guys the link. Okay, so the page is loaded up and we have PyCharm download for the Windows version. You can see the professional edition here and you can also see the community edition here. So this video is strictly for the uh, community edition. Now if you have a Mac or Linux you can also use this link to download each of them on your different platforms. But for now I'm going to be dealing on um, downloading for Windows. So let's click on the download button. Obviously I already have mine downloaded before this video because I have a slow internet connection so I'm just going to cancel this for now and let's head on to our download folder. Okay, let's head on to the downloads. Now you can see I have um, Python and Py PyCharm downloaded already. So let's click on the PyCharm setup and let's click on yes. Okay, so yeah. Click on yes. Now it shows us this uh, welcome screen and let's just click on next. Set your installation folder. I'm going to leave this on default. Click on next. And we need um, a 64 bit launcher desktop. You can also add Python to directory path to make things easier. And yeah. Now, if you click on this create associations, any .py file on your desktop or on your PC will, will be open on default by PyCharm. But I do not want that for now, so I'm just going to uncheck this. You can leave this at that if you want to. So I'm just going to click on next and install. Now this is basically going to install PyCharm for me, so I'm just going to fast forward this video a bit to the part where we can continue with the tutorial. So I'll see you guys on the other side. Okay, so PyCharm is installed for us and it says um, completed PyCharm installation. You can actually reboot now or manually reboot the system later. If I hit on reboot now, my video will probably stop and my recording will have to be cancelled and this video will be boring as F. So right now I'm just going to click on manually reboot later and I recommend you rebooting now and you can just follow on from the tutorial later on or you can just leave this and continue watching the tutorial and then you can reboot later on. So I'm just going to click on finish this and yeah PyCharm is installed for us. So let's click on the, the PyCharm um, logo here. Let's run this, the PyCharm application. Okay so um, it says um, PyCharm settings you can leave this as do not import anything for now and click on OK now it says if you want to use the dark theme or the light theme of course I normally like using the dark theme but you can select any you want to like and any you want to use for now I'm just going to click on next now it says here if you want to install ID Vim MLS Vim Editor blah 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 I do not have use for this right now so I'm not going to install that. You can do some research on your own and install this if you want to. Now it says the R support language. Now I might need this later on so I'm just going to install this for now. And there's an AWS toolkit you can install if you want to. I'm not going to touch that right now so I'm just going to leave it on. Okay, so we have this installed right now, so I'm just going to head on to start using Python.
okay so now we are at this part where you can see the create new project and the open project and the get version control now if you click on this you can see that will, it will take you to the github repository where you can type in your um, github url and just load your python project from here on from your github repository directory so i'm just going to click on create new project for now and it's going to ask you to select a basic interpreter and as you can see right here that it's loading up it's basically scanning for python installed default python installed exe and you can see that it's found our installation path on the python tutorial folder we created earlier on and you can click on create and it's loading components creating virtual environment so let's just keep on this um tip for uh, for now i recommend you reading this through it helps a lot but if you do not want to see this ever again you can just click on don't show tips and click on close okay so let's head on to um, full screen mode and say something right here windows defender might be impacting your build and id performance pycharm check the following directory now this is um something that was caused by your antivirus if you do have an antivirus on your pc you can actually disable that um, i'll show you guys how to do that on the end of the video so please stay tuned now um once you are at this part you can actually create a new project right here now you can see this part that says untitled you can actually right click this so let's head down a bit project okay let's see new and inside of this part you can add to python file to create a new python file you can just call this whatever you want so i'm just going to call this um techmon and just save it yeah now okay you can see that this as we stored as techmon.py and you can actually type in any code you want so let me just let me just type something as simple as print uh, it's the simplest code to write, so I'm just going to type in print in LHO. Now you can see how easy it is to write in code in the PyCharm environment. Now once you've, write, you, you've written your code, you can just right click this. And there's supposed to be a part that says run. Let's see. Run file in Python console. Yep. Click on allow access. Yeah, you can see that it has run run our file for us let's click on this again this is supposed to work quicker than it did before because we didn't um, have the permission before so now we do so it's just going to run our code for us now this is running the file directly in the python console without any errors you can see that it's run for us okay so that's how you can actually run files now to run the file directly in PyCharm environment you can actually right click the python file at the top here and click on run techman it's going to run the file exactly the same with no errors now that's that now to install a module in the PyCharm environment you can actually head to file head to settings inside of this settings bar you can head to um, plugins or uh, whatever let's see there's a module installation process here okay yeah these are different modules you can actually install you can see the list of modules here to install on um, plugins rather now let's see if we can see um the installation for the python um actual modules these are plugins let's see if we can see the python actual modules to install right here okay so i think i found it so let's head on to the project section that says project head on to this part and uh, head on to the project interpreter now you can see the list of modules installed right here and you can actually click on this um plus button that says install and select this now you can search for whatever module you want to install so i'm just going to type in something like uh, let's say um pi game see if we have pi game here okay yeah so we have pygame python game development environment and let's click on this and let's click on install package now this is how you can actually easily install packages in this environment without having to type in pip install or whatever lines of code you can type to get this done so this is basically one of the easiest ways to get your modules installed inside of the pytime environment so this is it guys now this is the end of the tutorial
Of course, when this, this is done installing, you see um, a success installation message right here. So please, oh yeah, that's it. Pygame install, um, Py installed successfully. Now, you can actually install other modules with this same method by clicking on this plus button right here and searching for the name of the module on top of this part here. So that's all for this tutorial, guys. Please be sure to hit that like button, subscribe, and also if you have any questions, feel free to comment. For I'll see you guys next time in my next video. A few moments later. Um, just before I forget, I told you guys I would help you guys fix the issue of the antivirus, and you can see that this part on the bottom right here, you can head on to the fix button, and you can see that you want to configure automatically, and click on yes. Um, this should basically fix your issue so <laughs> that's all but before I go let's just test out the module we installed earlier and let's just say uh, something like a uh, import um, pie game okay so this is pie game now if we didn't in install this module earlier and we run the code it would basically give us an error so um, this is my this is showing us an error because it's at the bottom here let's just move it to the top and let's import the module okay so yeah that's that so uh, let's run this again so let's right click this and let's run the techmon program now if pygame is not recognized in python it should give us an error so everything works exactly fine so <laughs> python works fine it says pygame 1.1 1.9.6 and that should be all for this tutorial guys Please do not forget to subscribe, like this video if you do, and please share it to your friends for easy referencing. That will be all for now guys, peace out.